Good morning. I'm reading Psalm 3 this morning, and it's a great reminder <clears throat> from the life of David of how to handle a very difficult situation. The title tells us it's a Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. And if you'll remember, Absalom led a coup against his father and uh, uh, actually took over the city, and David and his faithful followers had to flee the city of Jerusalem. So David cries out and he says, Lord, how that are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah. So not only does he have a lot of people rising up against him, but they're saying, hey, you're on the wrong side of this thing, David. You, you, God's not on your side. God is not going to help you. The reason that this is happening to you is because of your sin and there's no help for you in God. Verse 3, but he says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. He's reminding himself that God is a shield for him. God is the, the glory of his life, and God is the one who lifts up his head. When, you're, when you, your head is down, and you're downcast, and you're upset, and God's the one that lifts up your head. And so he says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. Out of his holy hill, Selah, the answer for David was always prayer. It's the answer for all of us. When you're in this overwhelmed situation, you cry out to God and you confess to him and you ask for his help and you, you praise him and you ask for wisdom in the situation and you thank him for what he's done. And he says, verse 5, I laid me down and slept. I awakened for the Lord sustained me. It's so important when you're in stressful situations to get some rest. But before you're going to be able to get some rest, you've got to go roll that over. Cast your care on Jesus, for He cares for you. He, he comes back and He says, after He wakes up, verse 6, He says, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. He's, he's, he, 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 he prays. He goes to sleep, he gets some rest, and when he gets up, he's reminded, I don't care if there's 10,000 of them that are around me. I'm not going to be afraid. Verse 7, Arise, O Lord, save me. O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. David reminds himself, if anybody's going to win this battle, it's going to be God. It's not going to be him. It's not going to be his clever ways. It's not going to be his scheming and planning. It's not going to be his might. It's not going to be his strength. It's going to be God. And so God is either done with David being king, and he's going to push him aside, and David's going to be okay with that. Or God is going to be the one who rises up against the enemies of David and brings deliverance to him. And sure enough, that's what happened. And so, so I, I love this psalm. I love the reminder of this psalm. How do you, well, when, you're, when you have this incredibly tense, stressful situation in your life, how do you deal with it? Well, you deal with it by going to the Lord, crying out to Him, realizing that He's your shield, that He's your glory, and that He's the lifter up of your head. Not circumstances, not other people, but God. And then you get some rest. Go get some sleep. And when you get up in the morning, everything's a lot different. And you realize that even if you have to face 10,000 by yourself, you're not going to be afraid. Because God's not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. <clears throat> and it's, it's a magnificent reminder that salvation belongeth unto the Lord. It's interesting to me in this psalm, in the Hebrew, the name of Jesus is used twice in this psalm. In verse 2, the word help is the Hebrew word Yeshua, which is Jesus. And in 8, verse 8, salvation is the same word. So help and salvation, those are translations of the same word that Jesus' name comes from, Yeshua. Where's our help come from? Our help comes from Yeshua, from the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.